So it's my turn to roll. So, Shiver Me Timbers, what we got this time? Oh. Level six. So it doesn't matter which way around we're going. <laughs> this really doesn't help me with my cards. So, no, I'm, going to, treasure. I'm going to play this, which is double coins. So, I'm going to, first of all, get rid of this banana out of this hold and get six coins. Oh, and then I need to empty another hold. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. Whatever will he what, do? What a shame! I don't want to get rid of any of my holes, but I think I'm going to have to get rid of my bananas. Oh no! Not the bananas! I don't know. Cool. All he, he'll have to make do with his five <laughs> bananas in the one hold he's got, or whatever it is. Mm. Uh, but I'm still not moving. I'm, it's really annoying. <laughs> I'm I mean, you're, you're right on the sandbank there. I mean, you got a nice, like, nice pristine beach. Yeah. So yes, that's my turn. Unfortunately, right. I'm also now kind of a prime target for being robbed. I think if anyone wants to go backwards that far. Um, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I mean, wait a minute. I, I, one, two, three, four. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Now, now I'm in a situation. I right. will jump past that treasure, so I'm not going to be able to get it. Uh, Kevin, on the other hand, uh, he could get that treasure if he wants I... to. If he has a move forward card. I would not be able to get that. I'll oh. get that now. Uh, right then, so to hell with it. So I'm going to move six past it, land on the space there, and pay uh, two bananas, and I'm going to be picking up six cannonballs. Mm hmm. Well, I will say in 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 the actual game, they're not bananas; they are food tokens. But uh, this tabletop version uses bananas, and I actually kind of like that better. Yeah. So, so I'm gonna blitz it. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna Ooh. power up the engines <laughs> on my boat. Yeah, I'm going to blitz. Hang on, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hang on a minute. He's twelve. <laughs> hey, we, oh, can we have a count on that, please? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That is correct. He shot past. And I shot past everyone and Uh, grabbed the chest's chest. Take your Uh, fucking uh, treasure. Holy heck. Basically, Vija has gone from just before the first island to nearly, just after the second island. Nearly, nearly past the second well, island. He's forward. halfway now. Yeah. yeah. And a quarter of the map ahead of us all. Bill, well, are you going to end this no, game before I, we want to set? I think it's more a third, actually. Uh, no. Far well, you have to get all the way back to Port Royale. It's yeah. just anyone behind this line loses points at the end of the game. If yeah, you're true. But remember, it's, remember, different, si- different number of spaces per side of the board. So, okay. well, On the bright side, though, it means he's not going to be moving... Bar anytime soon. Well, he hasn't got a double movement again for a while. No. So we got. I mean, so, it was. We know it was sudden death. The chip, but bloody hell, it didn't really be that sudden. <laughs> uh, so I'm Eef. gonna use this to stock up on a lot of things. So I'm getting uh, a cannibals and food card. So that's six cannibals and six food. Something's so, going though. Uh, well, let's get the six cannibals. Stick them in the final uh, hold. And I'm gonna get rid of this. One solo banana and replace it with six bananas, which I mean, basically so is just a case of I'm just get, I'm just picking up five bananas. Yeah, so. we could put so many Donkey Kong sixty four noises in this game. Right. Don't um, give them ideas. No, I'm not the, doing it. The, the 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 food crisis is at an end because I'm putting down exactly the same card. <laughs> six uh, bananas, six cannibals. Three, three, four, five, six. But Kev does have the room for it, so he does. Do. He does. Was that six was that? Yeah, that was six. Yeah. yeah, there is a. There is a finite amount of ammunition, by the way. Yeah. There's there's unlimited treasure. I think there's unlimited bananas, but for some reason there is a limit on the cannonballs, which is No, that is, that is purposeful. There is it's so that no one hoards so many cannonballs that they insta win. Right. Yeah. They can insta win every fight. Three, four, Unless of course they don't roll the explosion that someone else rolls that. Anyway. Yeah, that's true. I would, have, I would have loved to have moved forward, but um, the only one that I have with, with movement would have had me go forward six spaces and then back Backwards six spaces. Six spaces. Oh, oh, yes. yeah. Yeah. Those I, ones. Kev, I have two of those. Oof. Just in, oh, oh, I have a backwards oh. forwards and then a forwards backwards. I love the fact that my, my bananas have actually gone into a vertical stack. <laughs> nice. Very amusing <laughs> like Anyway, that's the end of my turn. Yeah. You're uh, the Capitan now. Capitan. Draw your card and then roll your dice. Or one way there. Right, let's have a look back. Uh... Well, that's no oh, better than I before. Uh... Oh, hang on a second, actually. Uh, you know what? I'm going to stick with going two first and then three afterwards. Okay. And I'm going to move forward two and then going to move backwards three. Very nice. I will Very get nice. the fucking treasure that kills me. Well, your your boat has fallen over, so your boat has fallen over inland, <laughs> which I which I I think that's uh, it's, it's a roll of six to go again, Ooh. isn't it? Or <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. we'll, we'll pay fifty. To, uh, hey, hey, he has to pay, has to pay five bananas. That's what he has to pay. Yeah, he's got to pay the he's got to pay the workers on the island. He's manually pulling his boat. Over. Right, Phil. What are you be doing? Right. Uh, you, you might need to you might need to yell a bit. He's like, um i'm going to take the opportunity to lay in some provisions um i'm going to go for two cannonballs and uh three food explosions ian let's make this interesting shall we fight 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 moving forward two and collecting three cannonballs oh hang on a second hang on a second you <laughs> you are going to have to dump something out of a hold. Uh, I'm going to get rid of. Well, he's picking up rid of, let's get rid of the two doubloons, actually. As as you might have guessed, listeners, the royal fortune has pulled up alongside the black pearl. It uh, indeed. Now it's been pulled off the rocks, <laughs> <laughs> and now it is also ripe for shooting. But, but, interest, but, but interestingly, mm. in doing that, both of them have gone round the outside of the island. Indeed, mm. but mind you, I do have a treasure. You do. Excellent. And uh, you don't treasure. draw an extra treasure from that. I know, I know. I, what I mean is that the net gain of doing that was gaining a treasure. Someone's gaining another treasure in, this, in a second. True. Well, well, we'll see what he wants off of you. You get to go first, Ian. Um, are you going to use any cannibals? Uh, 
I mean, I would of your many hold, cannonballs. Of my many cannonballs, yes. You might want to use some to help free up a hold in case it, you want to steal now, do you want to use the two, hold. the three, or the six? I you can use all of them. Use you can use multiple. Nine. Oh, wow. Well, so actually, that's nine that's to whatever That's no guarantee. Wants. That's not no? a guarantee, no. That's no guarantee. If he rolls the explosion... If I rolls the explosion, then... Or if he rolls craply and I don't... That's a 10. That's, 10. Mm, that's 19. <laughs> but I need so to be to 19. To you have to roll the explosion. Uh, yeah, you do. Okay, yes. I, you're, I'm not going to bother with my cannibals at all. Yeah, there's no point. Yeah, no point. You know, no. It's not physically possible for you to do it. You, you need to roll the explosion. I'll give it a good roll so, it, yeah, so it's not like just yeah. spinning around his axis. Oh, oh yes! Oh, he, he does it! Does it. No, he does that's it. only done it! <laughs> so, <laughs> he's only gone and done it. And now I'm your fucking treasure. You know, I, so Ooh. I has actually rolled the cannon of the explosion, which means that I auto lose. Yep. And he has Enjoy. stolen Ian's treasure. Enjoy. You. <laughs> you. <laughs> he tells me that's a cursed treasure. <laughs> hey, Kev, would you like to take your turn? <laughs> I, I would, as a matter of fact. Um, it was. It's the two first, right? Yes. Two first, yeah. Yes. In which case, I would like to use this card, which is two food and then free movement. So if Ooh. I do, if I do the free movement, mm. I'm going to take the inside line. Okay, which means I end up um, here, basically food. the other side of the island from the the two battling ships. That is a cost of four, but um, I gain two anyway, right? So I'm just going to take two from here. It's four spaces less. Than um, uh, than going around the outside. So mm. yes, I, so that, I've got a net loss of two bananas, basically, folks. Yeah, yeah that's fair. Uh, so it's, it's my turn. So I don't have any good options. I'm going to tell you that now. So I, I think at this point we all, we all need to just sort of you just, just need to up. burn your bad options at this point. <laughs> so I'm going backwards two, <laughs> and then forwards three. <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> Earth has crossed the Port Royal line. I just crossed the port. Royal. I thought Thanks for a minute he was going to he was going to try and go backwards far enough that he could like, take Phil on. <laughs> no, oh, oh, no, he, he comes the crazy camel and camel up. No, oh, God. that's not good. Uh, um, yeah, I really had nothing better I could do. So. And that's the end of the round. So uh, let's so let's, do a, let's do a, a, a quick Phil. Yes, a, a, just mm. do a quick round up. So obviously Veej's in the lead by several nautical miles at this point. <laughs> um, he has two cannonballs, three doubloons, um, four bananas, another two doubloons, and another three bananas, I think he has. Yeah. Um, you've got the, the the tie, basically. Uh, you're slightly ahead. I, I'm, I'm, you're technically, slightly ahead. I'm technically one square ahead. Um, so I've got uh, four bananas left from my set, six cannonballs, Four gold doubloons and another two gold doubloons. Um, Venato was in the spot first, was he not? Yeah, he was. Yes. Yeah. What do you? What have you got, Venato? I've got three treasures. I've one got, of which we're pretty sure is cursed. <laughs> I've got one banana in one hold, uh, two doubloons in one hold, six uh, three, three six doubloons. even, six even, uh, six bananas in the hold, and six cannonballs in my last hold. Yep. And Although uh, we did say last hold, then everybody. Something, something I will point out is that doubloons are worth points at the end of the game, whereas bananas and cannonballs are not. Fair enough. Well, Phil's pretty and safe. Then, He's got a lot of time to get at, gold. Then, we, then next to you is obviously the uh, and oh. and Bonnie's ship. Indeed. What has happened to your bananas there in this hold? <laughs> <laughs> I have six bananas in the hold. I have two cannonballs and I have four doubloons. And for some reason, his bananas are sort of sculptured into a fine piece of modern art. Yeah. God knows what's going on. And then, um, um, so, Earth has managed to move three <laughs> spaces so far. <laughs> yeah, I, I moved one space forward that turn. Yeah, but, but I do in total, have... the entire game, he's moved three spaces. I Make do have 15 games. doubloons, though, in my hold. That's mm. pretty good. That's not uh, very good if you're not past that line of, of punishment. True. I also only have two bananas. I have six cannonballs, and I don't think I'm ever going to use them at this rate. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, you say that. <laughs> we'll see. He's taking a leisurely cruise. Evidently. <laughs> oh. He's dealing with tourists. Mm. It's your turn. Profitable tourists. Roll the die, Ah, yes. 
Aye, Captain, it's your go. And after this this turn, I think it's someone else's turn to yes. say. Yes, indeed. Okay, okay. we as have well, a yeah. four and a one. Oof. Wow, do I know how to roll them. <laughs> yep, well, remember, you can change the order they're in, so. Yes, I'm just debating what I can do with them. Might be better for you to take a hit now than take one later. Mm. Never know. Hmm. BJ is thinking very hard. Oh. Yeah, I don't have a great set of options in front of me right now. Join the club. <laughs> mm. I mean, Phil, you're so far ahead, you don't need to worry about that at the moment. This is what I'm yeah, saying. No, 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 no. It, 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 yeah, but my hold is also full. You can dump stuff. I know I can dump stuff. I mean, <laughs> just... you're not in any danger of being uh, robbed just yet. Hmm. Uh... Only had a, if only he had a back and then a forward because he could actually get the treasure. Yeah. yeah. If, no, a forward and then a back. Even. No, a back, then a back. If you get back, back forward. Yeah, and any, forward any like. back forward combination because he can still set those. Mm. Those dice aren't set in stone yet. True. Ooh. Yeah. I think you may have given him an idea. As long as he's got one, let him go backwards completely by free total. Yeah. No, I. I Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I, don't so think I leave it. I, I was, I was focusing too much on where I'd end up going forwards. So yes, I am going to go with leaving it as four and the one, and then I'm going to go back four, or and forwards one. Okay, well, the treasure is yours, oh, sir. Oh, fantastic tactic you came up with there, Captain. And I yes. Mm. I, I'm really on the ball tonight. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Lads, he's managed to go backwards. <laughs> Catch him. <laughs> He's going backwards. <laughs> it's a small sacrifice in the long run. Mm. <laughs> Aye. Okay. Uh right. Uh let's get this one out of the way actually. Uh forward four back one. So that's just a net of three. And I have to pay the fine of three gold. Which I'm fine with. That leaves me with a wand bloom left in the hold. Oh yeah. Uh, hidden mm. underneath the hold. Yeah, hidden underneath the hold. Last secret coin. The last secret. Um, let me see. What will I do? I will... Um, as it's four and one, I will also I go forward then back. Go forward four, then back one. So I will go one, two, three, four, then back one, and pay two bananas! I can see you in my rearview mirror. I know. Can you, see us, can, you see us, can you see us waving the flag to lead us slow the hell down? <laughs> I don't know, because no. You can see no, exactly. <laughs> Just take a right, take a shortcut, he can't stop you. Exactly. He's, he's, well, that's the thing, Vija is still in that area where he's got to go the long way. Mm. Mm. So and There is some punishment ahead. Uh, one, two, three, four. I have to go the outside lane so I don't have enough bananas. I'm, uh, I'm going to do this instead. I'm going to play four food, so I'm going to dump my two bananas and get two more and get four bananas because that makes sense. So I now have four bananas in my hold, and then I'm moving forward one. Good, good point. Yay! Uh, hey, the, the, the... Four spaces from the start. Well, at, least, at least his space is, is a free space due to the fact it was a treasure it's a, chest. So yeah, that's good. Mm. yeah, that's kind of how I had to bank it yeah. basically. Yeah, I'm... I'm not liking my options either. I'm either going backwards. I'm just collecting at this point. Uh... Hey, collecting's not bad. True. Depends what you're collecting, and really, I a four and a one. It's like what, what do I want to collect four of though? Mm... Hey, uh, to be fair, yeah, you could. You've still got a space in the. I've hold. still got space. You know, let's collect four bananas. Or food, always good. Yeah. Never have too many bananas to and stave off scurry. I'm picking up two cannonballs. One. One. One even. Yep. And so shall what are you doing? Change it for the one banana. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And there we go. That is that round done with. Mm. I just the captain's token moves. I just interrupt for an alert that's just come on my phone. I, I thought, what have you been up to? What's he done? I don't know. What have I been up to? Uh. Push notification for just news, which says thousands of venomous crabs swarm beaches in Cornwall. You what can't be 
Can't what blame me for that. To? Cornwall's radioactive anyway. I'm just going to blame that. It's radioactive radiation. and venomous. Yeah. No, Cornwall's naturally radioactive. I think he knows the a bit too much crap. about this, ladies and gentlemen. Venomous mm. crabs are just a consequence. He knows where the ra- uranium's buried. It's not uranium, it's radon. Ah, fair nah, he knows where it is. Mining. Yeah, yeah it, it's, it's in all of the old Cornish mines. <laughs> yeah. I thought for a minute he was going to say Calgon. But there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Washing machines uh. live longer with Calgon. Venomous uh, crabs. <laughs> Cornwall lives longer with radium. I have an in, no, I actually have an interesting story about that, but that will have to wait till off stream because it's now someone else's turn to speak. Because I already did my speaking. Captain. Well, the coins landed on the uh, Ian. I say Ian talks. Ian talks. Aaron. Yeah.
So, um, in terms of the stuff I've been uh, playing this month, it's primarily been the same as the uh, as the usual uh, stuff. So that's you know, Final Fantasy XIV. Still getting through the main story on that when the PC's happy. Um, as well as continuing on with some of my uh, sadly ever increasing backlog because gosh darn it, video games. Um, but there were two main games that I basically spent a lot of time on this month. First off was um, what's Nintendo Switch, and that is an RPG known as Liverleaf, or Liverlife, depending on how you pronounce it. Uh, very interesting story about this game. So, way back in the 90s, Square Enix, previously known as Squaresoft, created a bunch of RPGs for the SNES. Uh, a number of them never made it to Europe, uh, and a few of them never made it outside of Japan. Live or Live was one such game. So it was a Japanese exclusive game that was never released anywhere else. And so it became this kind of cult following among um, Square Enix fans and RPG fans. Effectively, Live or Live is seven stroke eight mini RPGs in one. It basically has the same type of combat in all the eras and all the stories, but tweaks here and there. And basically, it, it is just the story of these separate characters doing their own thing. And it was released in its HD version with uh, voiceovers, improved musical scores, and the um, 2D, 2.5D, or 2D HD that they, they patented, which is uh, the same style as Octopath Traveler and uh, Triangle Strategy. So basically, Live or Live is just a series of smaller RPGs set in different eras. So you've got the prehistoric era or prehistory era. You've got uh, Imperial China. You've got the Edo period in Japan, Wild West, Middle Ages, uh, present day, near future, and far future. And basically, not, ev not all of the eras open up to you all at once. Some unlock as the game goes on. But basically, you play through these little mini stories. They all have their own little quirks and their own little um, variations on it. So, for example, the one in the near future is basically anime. Literally, the protagonist is a teenage kid with spiky hair who has telekinetic powers. And there's a mecha in the intro. Yeah, it's anime. Whereas uh, the Wild West is a much more standard Wild West series of... Um, stories it's i've only played through a couple of the scenarios so far um but i'm enjoying what i've played so far um main critique uh is that i'm finding it a bit easy um i had absolutely no problems with the game in terms of difficulty so far whether it's because it's still early in the game and the other levels scale in difficulty as you go on or if it's just completely easy all the way through if it is easy all the way through that's fine. Would like a little bit more of a challenge here and there, but um, doing a self-imposed challenge on the um, the Edo period one is just basically, you're a ninja. You can either kill everyone or hide, and I'm doing the hide option. So, definitely underleveled. So, that's kind of the self-imposed challenge on that one, but yeah, it's enjoyable. Glad I picked it up, and especially glad because there's a jukebox mode, which means I can listen to all the music in the game. And there's a reason why, there's an also another reason why Live a Live, Live a Live, whatever you want to call it, is popular. And it's actually popular because of something more recent, in a way. So, obviously, everyone here knows about Undertale. So, yeah. <laughs> there is a link between the two games. Toby Fox, the creator of Undertale and Deltarune, basically, when he was starting out, he had a few homebrew... Um, ports of sort of homebrew sort of mods of uh, Earthbound. One of which was the Earthbound Halloween hack, which is basically a sort of homebrew mod of Earthbound, Mother 2, um, where he basically sort of does his own little story. Now, he wanted to use uh, he wants to see if he could try and use uh, the main boss theme of Live or Live in the game, but he couldn't. Well, he didn't feel as though it fitted, so he took that and reinterpreted it and it is now known as Megalovania. Isn't because it Megalomania? Yes. Me uh, Live or Live has, the, as its boss track, Megalomania. Uh, okay. So, Live or Live gave us Megalomania. 
Undertale gave us Megalovania. And obviously with the re-release, mashups have now increased between the two because, to be honest, they're both really good songs. Seriously, if you like uh, if, if you like the tone of Megalovania, go out and find the uh, soundtrack of Live a Live. Really good. Really strong. Um, so yeah, that's going to be something I'm going to be continuing on with um, over the next month or so. Uh, the other one I've been playing most of, and actually I finished literally this morning, uh, is from the Xbox Game Pass, and that is a game called Paradise Killer, which is effectively um, an investigative story in the vein of stuff like Danganronpa and, and such. Uh, so, it's a it's a fun game. It's very weird, though. <laughs> it's hard to it's really hard to explain. Uh, let me see if I can find the description of the game on the Steam Store, because it's probably better for me to explain it through there. Um, so, I mean, you have me hooked to Danken Romper, admittedly, but <laughs> so this is what it is. This is what it says on the uh, on the Steam Store: an island outside of reality, a rogue human civilization hoping to resurrect dead alien gods, a murder behind locked doors. Lady Love Dies, Investigation Freak is on the case, and that's pretty much it. Basically, your uh, you play as uh, Lady Love Dies, uh, one of these uh, rogue humans who has been granted immortality in order to try and resurrect ancient gods, but has been sent into exile due to something that's happened in her past. Uh, a murder has occurred behind closed doors in preparation for the transference of, of one of the Paradise Islands to another, and she's called on to try and solve the murder. And basically, you come across this huge cavalade of very weird and interesting characters from all over the world. So, And, from all, and basically, the entire island is a mishmash of so many different um, cultures and so many different uh, his, um, historic legacies of um, uh, religion and such. So you've got uh, pyramids in the distance for Egyptian mythos. You've got obelisks dotted all over the place. You've got a mixture of um, uh, sort of European, uh, sort of Western-style buildings along with Japanese-style uh, gardens. It's a very eclectic island, and it's very well-written as well. Um, it's also a game where you can effectively beat it in under 10 minutes, because that's one of the quirks of the game, is that you can basically call time on the game at any point. So, as you go around, you, inve- you investigate the islands, you find clues, you find evidence, you speak to the people on the island to try and figure out what's going on. But at any point, you can just go, no, nope, I've found enough information, I want to go to the trial. And that's it. As soon as you go to the trial, it's the end game, and you have one chance to try and find the guilty party. Objection. Pretty much, yes. So it's a very, it's it's one of the a game which is uh, very sort of niche. But yeah, if you like your Dank and Romper games or your Ace Attorney games, highly worth trying it out. And the main reason why I picked this game up, it was actually the soundtrack. So the soundtrack just popped up on Spotify for me um, a few weeks back, just as sort of the, one of these random shuffles. And the main theme of the game just was really sort of fit well with the style of music I like. Um, it's very retro, 80s-esque um, sort of kind of music, but it's it works really well. Um, so yeah, basically the soundtrack made me interested in the game, and yeah, played through it, blitzed through it, and um, yeah, I will say, the game is also very open-ended. Uh, there's no one single solution. Uh, that's not a spoiler, because it is actually in the, the blurb of the game. Well, it might be something I have a look at, I think. Once I've gotten my own queue down significantly. I I would recommend it if you like that style of game. It's yeah. Yeah, probably a little no, I think it's about it's, it's about fair for its for its price, actually. Think about it if you want to buy the actual game itself, which is about fifteen pounds on Steam. Which I, I think is pretty good for I mean, to be fair, I think think I took about ten or fifteen hours into that game, so I think that's fair enough. Um, yeah, really liked it. Really liked the characters in it. Really liked the the way the story branches and the, the hidden secrets and such. So, yeah, well worth picking up if you if you like the kind of thing. And I think I've waffled enough for today, to be honest. So, uh, should we get on with the game? Yes. Sure.
And so, uh, I'm starting, aren't I? Yes, you are. Yes. Four Ooh. three. Four and Ooh. three. Not bad options. Not bad at all, actually. <laughs> Which way are you going, though, is the question. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the three first and then the four second. And oh. I'm going to move forward three and pick up four, right, uh, four food. I'm moving down the lower path. As, as, as someone raided everything on the other side. <laughs> I wonder who much. that was. So oh, I oh, no idea. Has so I moved up... my ship again? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so... <laughs> oh, actually, no. This is this is even better for me, to be honest. Oh god, that yeah, is... the treasure. <laughs> Maybe you should have gone quiet. It's yeah, I should have picked... gone quiet because I need to move forward again. <laughs> uh, I accidentally picked up the uh, yeah the wrong ship. So sorry about. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway. Oiled treasure, so um, that actually worked out much better for me. Thanks, Kev. It's all right. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just here offering piracy advice. <laughs> and uh, let's see what cursed treasure I get this time. I, I feel like you owed a tithe for your assistance. <laughs> there we go. Uh, it is. I mean, looking think... at the two people have helped, it might be just bananas <laughs> related. I think. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to reveal it then. Nope, not revealing. Kev. Hmm. I think it's time for the double move. Oh, seven. Seven. One, two, one, three one. on the inside. <laughs> five, six, seven. Hey, five. Stay, this port requires five coins. Do you have five That's coins? Okay. I do have five coins. Over You'll there. have one left so, over, he will. Yeah, I, I will if it actually. That, bloody hell, it's got the same problem that Einshold had. All right. Let me uh, just stick this stack of coins. Into there. Oh, hang on. The ship's cats arrived. Hello, hello. <laughs> we're, we're recording an MC cast. What's that, baby? You've just come to give. Arr, you've come to give the, the cat and a hug. Well, thank you very much indeed. Okay, everything's fine. Can I go back to the recording? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everything's I, fine. I mean, which pirate captain doesn't want a hug? All right. Yeah, I guess. Me. Oh, actually, honey, can you quickly? Can you from below decks grab me a coke from the? <laughs> From the ship's hold. From the, from the ship, from the galley. There'll be a I, cold one in the I was going to say, it's probably not from the ship's hold, because I don't think there's any cola uh, tokens in any of them. Yeah, uh, indeed. <laughs> anyway, the, the point is that uh, that puts me at three quarters distance now. If I, I, if I could see over the other side, you may have two-thirds, I'd, I'd maybe. say two-thirds, yeah. yeah. Yeah, three quarters round, yeah. Anyway, the wider is going to be moving forward free. I don't think that works with Sure. R, yes. R. There you go. Uh, move forward free, and then I have to get four cannonballs. So I'm going to dump these six cannonballs out of my hold and just have four because. It's really, uh, not, it's really not being kind to you, this game, is it? No, it hasn't. Hasn't. No, but that means. I'm going to tell you, the only other thing I could have done was hit. Is Ghost one space forward? <laughs> right, I am going to pick up three. No, oh, sorry, one space backwards would have been Yay! my Yay! <laughs> one space backwards. I dump a cannibal to pick up three bananas, and I should be moving four. One, two, three, four. I shall pay two of those bananas back. Effectively, you swapped a cannibal for banana. Not bad. And moved forward. Yeah. I am catching uh... your. Well, you say that, it is now Vija's turn to uh, decide whether he's storming forward again. Uh, I choose to sit here, and I am going to collect the gold. three gold and four gold, but oh dear, uh, my... So I'm going to toss two cannonballs overboard. Leesh. Boom! Exactly. So, four gold, and I'm going to... The ditch the two gold and then get three, Ooh. so net positive of one. Looks like he's loaded. He's going to sink if we hit him. You have to hit him first is the problem. Well, the, the, now's, the, now's the problem is that because he's, cause he's sat there, he's actually... He's wasted his double movement. He's in, in trouble now. He's in, he's in right. You're in range. If he moves massively forward, he's going to go into the Dutchman. Mm. Mm. But that is the end of the round, so it is on to Kev to start. Or is it me again, the vast? Yep. Yeah. Right, hang, yeah, hang on a second. Let me uh let me find out what my other card is. Oh, it's one of those, is it? Well that's helpful or not. 
as the case may be. Let's let's roll the dice again, Savvy. It's a five and a three. Ooh. A five and a three. Ooh, a three, mm. you say? Well, that takes. Uh, if I had, if I had free, like say, free movement, maybe that might be interesting. Mm -hmm. That might be very interesting. Might be very interesting if I took a long way round here by going, uh, defining it as three and five, and using my card for free movement of five food. Thanks. And the free movement will take my ship to where this treasure is. Oh, ooh. Which is very helpful. Yep, your yes. first treasure of the game. My first mm. treasure of the game, exactly. I will also take the I'll take the five food as well, mate, because I'm I, I need the bananas, boys. I just do mm. two. Yeah, fair. Three. Well, that's money. That's no good at all. Money's, <laughs> money's, money's no good. We need bananas. That's what's. Well, you know, bananas in this, in this economy, depending, bananas. Three, depending on where you four, are in that five. world. Hmm. Three, four, five. There we go. I'll stick them in there. Right, and uh, a treasure. I get a treasure. And that treasure is... a mystery. Well, I remember if it's not a plus or minus treasure, you... Or it's you, a curse. Or it's, well, that would be minus treasure. Uh, okay, so... I don't have great options, but I have options. So, I'm going to play free gold, which I'm going to dump this free gold for. <laughs> and Hooray! Hooray! Your, your, your options suck. <laughs> yeah. He, then I'm moving he's, one, he's two, three, four, five. Else. <laughs> I'm finally ahead of someone temporarily. Temporarily. Um, I have to pay free gold to stay there. So I'm well getting rid of the hold. free gold in the hold. Where's the other one gone? There it is. Excellent. And yes, I'm secret compartments. I've somewhat managed to move forward. Right. Uh, see. Got lettuce, uh, pull a fill. Double movement. Ooh, eight, eight forward. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, that's uh, oh. like the inside routes on the. Uh... That is only gold gone. Yeah, so... But now that's two ships, ships ahead of. The Black Pearl is two Wait, squares where's... behind me. Yes. yes. Mm. Uh, so, still anyone's race. Uh, if it is now Vija's turn, to be fair. Well, I choose uh, food, then movement. Uh, so, I'm going to ditch these three marvellous pieces of bananas, gain, gain three, and I'm going to move five. Trade three mouldy bananas for... Two, three takes the bananas fruits. out, puts yeah, the bananas back five. in again. <laughs> and I will take a, one of these three bananas and uh, and give it to charity. Hmm. Uh, you pay your time. Charity. <laughs> charity. <laughs> That's what he calls it. <laughs> charity banana. I mean, donate it to the cause. There's a pass. There's a passing shark. <laughs> just it looks. It, it's tins. got a lean and hungry look. <laughs> just rattling a tin. So it's all... <laughs> donations. Donations. Ian, what be you doing? Uh, I'm going to use this opportunity because I'm on a treasure island to get some treasure. Uh, I'm going to get eight gold. So Very I'm going nice. to ditch well, three gold and five gold. I'm going to ditch this one gold to balloon, the two. So that leaves me my three gold. And then uh, my last hold is filled with the other five gold. Delicious. And that is the end of the round. And it is also the end of everyone's piles. So you need to shuffle your deck, uh, discard piles into a new deck once you've drawn your final card. Done. I think at this Done. point we need to talk again. Well, I've already talked, so I'm going to nominate Ayn to talk. Yeah, so that's fine. It's fine. <laughs>